Oil pipelines are a marvel of modern engineering, serving as the arteries of the energy industry. They transport crude oil and refined petroleum products over vast distances, often across rugged terrain and challenging environments. But have you ever wondered how this remarkable material is constructed? The construction of these pipelines is a complex and highly coordinated process that involves meticulous planning, cutting edge technology, and stringent safety standards. Understanding how these pipelines are built provides insight into the immense effort required to meet global energy demands efficiently and securely. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The process begins with the planning and design phase, where engineers determine the optimal route for the pipeline. This involves extensive surveys and feasibility studies to assess geographic, environmental, and social factors. Engineers use satellite imagery, drones, and geographical information systems, or GIS, to identify potential obstacles such as mountains, rivers, and urban areas. Environmental impact assessments are a critical part of this stage, as pipeline construction can significantly affect local ecosystems. Engineers work to minimize these impacts by choosing routes that avoid sensitive habitats and by implementing measures to protect wildlife. Additionally, the route must comply with local, national, and international regulations, which often require consultations with government agencies and communities along the proposed path. Once the route is finalized, the land acquisition process begins. Pipeline companies negotiate with landowners to secure the rights of way needed for construction. This can be a contentious process, as landowners may have concerns about the impact of the pipeline on their property. Companies often address these concerns by offering compensation and ensuring that the land is restored to its original condition after construction. In some cases, eminent domain laws may be invoked to acquire land for public benefit, though this is usually a last resort. Public engagement is also crucial at this stage, as addressing the concerns of local communities can help avoid delays and foster goodwill. The next phase is site preparation, which involves clearing and grading the land along the pipeline route. Vegetation is removed and the ground is leveled to create a stable surface for construction. In environmentally sensitive areas, special care is taken to minimize disruption, such as using mats to protect the soil and installing barriers to prevent sediment from entering water bodies. Access roads may also be built to transport equipment and materials to the construction site. These preparatory steps ensure that the pipeline can be installed efficiently and safely Pipe manufacturing and transportation are integral parts of the construction process. The pipes used in oil pipelines are typically made of high-strength steel and are manufactured in large mills. They are produced in sections, often ranging from 40 to 80 feet in length, and are coated with materials such as epoxy or polyethylene to prevent corrosion. Once manufactured, the pipes are transported to the construction site, where they are temporarily stored in staging areas along the road. Logistics play a critical role here, as the timely delivery of materials is essential to keep the project on schedule. The actual construction of the pipeline begins with trenching, where a trench is dug along the pipeline route to house the pipes. Trenching machines or excavators are used to dig the trench to a specific depth, which varies depending on factors such as soil type, land use, and safety regulations. In some cases, Horizontal Directional Drilling, or HDD, is used instead of trenching, particularly when the pipeline must pass under rivers, highways, or other obstacles. HDD allows the pipeline to be installed with minimal surface disruption, making it an ideal solution for environmentally sensitive areas. After the trench is prepared, the pipes are laid out along the route and welded together to form a continuous pipeline. 
This process, known as stringing, requires precision and skill to ensure that the welds are strong and leak-proof. Each weld is inspected using non-destructive testing methods, such as X-ray or ultrasonic testing, to verify its integrity. Once the welds pass inspection, the pipeline is coated at the joints to prevent corrosion and then lowered into the trench using specialized equipment. The lowering process is carefully controlled to prevent damage to the pipeline and ensure proper alignment. Backfilling is the next step, where the trench is filled with soil to cover the pipeline. The soil is compacted to provide stability and protect the pipeline from external forces. In some cases, additional protective measures, such as concrete coatings or rock shields, are applied to the pipeline to enhance its durability. Once the trench is backfilled, the surface is restored to its original condition as much as possible. This includes replanting vegetation and repairing any roads or infrastructure affected by the construction. Environmental restoration is a key aspect of pipeline construction as it helps mitigate the impact on local ecosystems and communities. Testing and commissioning are the final steps before the pipeline becomes operational. The entire pipeline is subjected to hydrostatic testing where it is filled with water and pressurized to levels higher than its normal operating pressure. This test ensures that the pipeline can withstand the stresses it will encounter during operation. Any leaks or weaknesses detected during testing are repaired before the pipeline is put into service. Once the pipeline passes all tests, it is cleaned and dried, and the necessary equipment, such as pumps and valves, is installed to control the flow of oil. Safety is a top priority throughout the construction process. Pipeline projects adhere to strict safety standards to protect workers, communities, and the environment. Safety measures include regular inspections, emergency response planning, and the use of advanced monitoring systems to detect leaks or other issues. Modern pipelines are equipped with sensors and automated systems that provide real-time data on pressure, temperature, and flow rates. These systems enable operators to quickly identify and address any problems, reducing the risk of spills and ensuring the safe transport of oil. The construction of oil pipelines is a monumental undertaking that requires collaboration among engineers, environmental scientists, construction crews, and regulatory agencies. Each phase of the process from planning and design to construction and testing is carried out with precision and care to ensure that the pipeline operates efficiently and safely. While pipelines have faced criticism for their environmental and social impacts, they remain a critical component of the global energy infrastructure. As technology advances, the industry continues to develop more sustainable and innovative methods for constructing and operating pipelines balancing the need for energy with the responsibility to protect the planet. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.